update on a story we first brought to you on WJCL News at 5. More than 20 break-ins in five days. Tonight, we're working for you to find out what's being done to help protect drivers from becoming victims. WJCL's Brandon Lavonia talked with officers and neighbors. Brandon, what are you learning? Well, this is a very vocal, very involved uh, neighborhood. You know, the ones I've been speaking with say they're aware of the recent car break-ins, especially the ones over in Ardsley Park. Now, one neighbor even told me she's putting in a security system because she doesn't feel safe, and another just wants it to stop. Christina Jesuin lives in Ardsley Park. Moving to Savannah a little over a year ago, she says it was an obvious choice for her family. Because it's convenient to my children's school and it's a safe area. However, she says after the events of Monday morning, she's seeing the family-friendly neighborhood in a different light. My 12-year-old came out to the car and said there was stuff scattered everywhere. Jesuin's car was broken into. Luckily for her, the thieves didn't find anything they wanted. They had the phone chargers hanging out and all, like all the change. Julia Miller with the Savannah Chatham Metro Police says the department is doing what they can to prevent more auto break-ins or catch the culprits in the act. Auto break-ins have been a focus in Ardsley Park for the department. In 2013, 54 were reported. In 2014, only 36 break-ins were reported. It is totally because the neighbors who live in there in that neighborhood take crime so seriously. Jesuin says she's treating the incident as a warning and keeping a close eye on people around her neighborhood. But definitely more aware when it gets to be a little bit darker out at night. Metro police say surrounding neighborhoods like Lamar Heights and Olin Heights tend to attract similar crimes. Now, Metro officers have been urging drivers since last summer to lock their doors and remove any valuables from their cars. Now, for more information on crime in, in your area, you can visit our website, WJCL.com. Look for the interactive crime mapping button. In the studio, I'm Brandon Lavornia for WJCL News, working for you.